Okay, we're live. It hasn't started yet for me. It shall. Ah, uh, something's happening. There we go. Did it start up? Okay, it comments. Yes. There we go. I'm dropping the quality of my playback right down. So I don't just, blame yeah, you. I've, I've already done that with mine as well. Okay. And I've got it muted. So. Right, that one's me. Just checking that that's working. I'm going to let people jump in here before we start. Okay. Ooh. Okay. You can get on top of the boat, right? Um, in the first level, there's a bug you can. Uh, okay. All right, I guess we just kick it off then. Cool. Let's do You'll it. You'll get eaten by that shark. Yeah, they have a taste for Lara. <laughs> All right. So first thing, are we gonna talk about these climbing animations? <laughs> oh my god, they're so jerky. Go on, go on, go. On. Having seen what they were like in AOD, this was such a step backwards. It wasn't even funny. Yeah, look at this. It's like, why would you speed? The, why would you go through all the trouble of mo capping these, and then speed them up? Yeah, they always seem to do this whenever they, because they always have this fascination with, oh, Lara needs to get through the environment as quickly as possible. So, you know, oh, but you you can't sacrifice the smoothness of the animation just for the sake of speed. It just mm -mm. looks horrible. It really, really does. Are you still in the boat at the moment, or is mine just a little bit behind? You, uh, I would just refresh it. I'm actually climbing. You're climbing. Right. Yep, right now I am whoop, jumping backwards, making my way up. Yeah, mine is so far behind, it's not even funny you're still on the boat. How do I get caught on that? That's what we do to get caught up. I just killed a bunch of spiders. Oh, I'm such a div. I was on a different link. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do, Matt. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. So I can see you about to fall. Some of the animations are all right. Yeah, some of them, I mean, they weren't back then, but ironically now they look good. Yeah. And I really liked her running animation, actually. I thought that was really, really good. It gets a little jerky sometimes, like, instead of running fast, she'll be doing, like, this joggy thing, like Angel of Darkness. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. I hated all of this, though. But the scenery in this level. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing. It, it, they, they had, you know, the still graphics really really well done but it's anything in motion was just a little bit off Let's see. this isn't everything the water i mean the, the water looks very very inviting it was a shame there were so many sharks in there the irony is too they actually nailed what the thailand shores looked like so i went back and google searched a couple of images and it looked exactly like it mm -hmm. game is still holding up graphically too yeah I mean, it's a pretty game Oh, I hate it. the little animation she's got when she uh, when she brushes through grass or whatever, and she mm -hmm. starts to freak out a little bit. Let's see if we get that in a minute. By the way, Jen, you are welcome to talk. Oh, she's shy. <laughs> That's supposed to be my <laughs> job. Damn it. <laughs> see, it was um, who was it? It was it was some American. Um, American, I can't remember her name. I've got Merryweather or something in my head, and I'm sure that wasn't it. The um, the gymnast that they mo-capped. Oh, Moneymaker. Moneymaker, yeah. See, you now this is actually my favorite part of the game when you're scaling the part of Thailand when you come up and that music kicks in. Mm hmm. 
Although that is my least favorite part of Underworld, the camera. Yeah, it's it's the way it just kind of shifts up and down, like like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. It's ridiculous. It's nauseating. Because it wasn't like this in Legend or Anniversary. I, I don't get how they got it so wrong. Well, apparently they made a bunch of upgrades to the engine, and something got fucked up. Uh, it's always the way. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Oh, the camera. Stop fighting me, camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. It seems to be the way with most third-person games these days as well. The, the amount of them that try to think too much for you and think, this is where you need me to be, and just, you know, let me control it. But this right here, this just screams Tomb Raider. Hmm. And that music too. Like this is what I want Tomb Raider to go back to. So I'm hoping Shadow is something along the lines of this. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I, I hope think. so. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's 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 not perfect, but you know it's it's certainly far better than it's been in years. Um, Laura, what did you just do? Whipped out my weapon and she went crazy. <laughs> oh! Where did your arms go? Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, Laura, what are you doing? <laughs> Over we go. See, I loved all of this, all of this platforming. It's God, yes. You don't really get a lot of it in today's games. It's, you know, a lot of it is very combat heavy and the platforming is very, very easy. I don't know, I. I, I Saw quite a few people commenting on the uh, on the platforming in say Uncharted, saying it's it's too easy. You're just holding up, and it's quite boring. It's distracting from the rest of the game. But it it doesn't have to be. It can be something like this, where it's actually a, an environmental puzzle. Exactly. Uh, it feels like a trap. Ever since Underworld, nobody's wanted to touch platforming properly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, and that's you know, it's not that the platforming in this game is bad. It's just it was it was such a a glitchy, buggy game in places that. It, it's like you say, you know, even the camera being so nauseating when you're just trying to jump around, it, it puts you up one thing's platform. And there's your tiger buddies. Ugh. Yes, those animations do look very familiar. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, you'll, you'll see more of this in the next few days, I think. So we're going to be humane and use a tranquilizer gun on them. I do wish you could melee things in the new games. The fact that you can't melee the animals is pretty weird. That is kind of weird you could kick a tiger. Yeah. Up we go. I'm going to spend half of the stream just fighting with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> just send it to Crystal afterwards. Here, here's a list of things to fix. <laughs> Oh, see, I was so disappointed. You know, when they uh, when they patched this on the PS3 to add the uh, trophy support, and yet all of these camera bugs and everything was still there. Yep. Getting the important things right. You've got to have that trophy for all those diamonds <laughs> that you kick out of vases, of course. Yeah, what is that, 178? Oh, it was just like pulling teeth. I, I can't believe to this day that I actually went and did that. That was the most... Ginormous waste of my time. I refused. It was back in the time when I was actually really into trophies, and I thought, no, I must have my two major trophy. Um, what is this tiger doing? Oh, there you go, he's gone. Um, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's chasing his tail. Um, he actually is. Yeah, actually, chasing his tail. Literally. Can you get him from that? I don't think I can. Well, he's bugged out. <laughs> Stay still. Perfect. He'll sneak up on you in a minute. He will. I guarantee you. If you wait till I'm going to try and jump the platform, he's going to knock me down. Alright, we're just going to skip him. Hello, random bats.
Actually, this part actually reminds me of a, a fair bit of the um, the dagger of um, you know the uh, the new game that Nico base. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Platforming here. Yep, that part made me rage. Mm. Oh, I, just, I mean, obviously, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how, what work goes into these things, but how can you get it so wrong? How can you let a game ship with camera issues like this? Sadly, time constraints, money issues. Uh, I mean, the kind of thing, it's the kind of thing that can kill your series, though, or for the, you know, getting out right now, making short-term goal, you know, short-term gains. Well, I know a lot of people like to compare. Underworld as Crystal Dynamics is Angel of Darkness, and oh my god, the camera, what is it doing? <laughs> oh, dead. He dead? No, no but it dead. was like trying to kill me. <laughs> this, is, um, this just isn't right. That's but yeah, I'm... I mean, that's, it's, it's a very apt, uh, very, very apt comparison, although this game doesn't have the artistry behind it that Angel of Darkness did. I mean, at least you can hand wave a lot of was wrong with Angel of Darkness for the fact that it was so daring. Mm -hmm. uh, this is so banal in places, and they did it badly. I, yeah, definitely deserves a, a worse rep than uh, an Angel of Darkness. And yet it still got high scores on release, which I don't understand. Oh, But no, you yeah, know I, I how money talks. Him. I remember Angel of Darkness getting an 8 out of 10 from official PlayStation magazine in the UK. <laughs> oh, they weren't as kind over here. <laughs> you know. Wait, was that a PlayStation Magazine UK? Yeah, yeah, PlayStation Magazine UK. It was, a, it was the first Tomb Raider game to not get a perfect 10. Even Chronicles got a perfect 10 from the Holy shit. PlayStation Magazine. And uh, yeah, I always remember there was this little comment where he said, Is it perfect? No, but it has something, damn it. And I was like, Yeah, it's not an 8 out of 10 game, though. Just from a technical standpoint, you couldn't give it an 8 out of 10. But there it was. The characters of Vedic Sanskrit. There we go, cutscene. See this, this whole thing, this is what I play Tomb Raider for, and I see these massive statues, and you can see there's a puzzle that's going to unfold, this is just perfect. Yep, this is exactly what I miss. That and uh, Alara speaking with a British accent as well, well, English accent. Yeah, before she got Americanized. <laughs> that's Shiva on top. I do think this model is quite pretty as well. It's um, you know, it, it doesn't look photorealistic by any means. It's still stylized. Yeah, I wish they brought back the braid. So do I. Thank God Dapplehall has it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the fact that they gave her that is like, ugh. It's like they knew people were gonna compare her to classic Larry anyway. So it's like, why not? Very tongue in cheek. I've, I've still never got to play the DLC, of course, as well, because I didn't have an Xbox, but I would have loved to have played the, um, certainly the Lara Shadow thing looked very interesting. Yeah, I'm still kind of, uh, irked that most of us didn't get the real ending. Mm-hmm. Oh, with, um... Lara Shadow? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to play it, mind you, but I still think it's pretty shit that other people didn't get to play it. Yeah, especially when it's it's tying up the end of the story and showing, effectively, Natalie's demise. And she's the main bad guy, and, and you don't even let the majority of players see what happens. So it's just Bingo. Bad planning. That and did you ever find out why, um, what was it, I think it was the Wii version, one of the other versions had a different ending to the game with um, Amanda getting shot in the leg and being left to die? Oh yeah, that was uh, an alternate ending. Mm-hmm. There used to be a bug here if you dropped the thing and picked it up really quick she would teleport with it. What? I used to do it on the demo just to break it. <laughs> yeah Crystal put up um what do you call it like a barrier so the demo ends. You could actually use that bug to get around the barrier and complete the entire level. Oh my god. We were good for hacking all that stuff back then. <laughs> Doesn't say a lot about the quality of the Truth. I mean, when Tomb Raider fans want something, they find a way to make it happen. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the old days with the corner bug getting on top of the manor and everything. 
Oh you god, yeah. You cannot leave a workaround in your in your demos. These people will find a way. Oh, they will. Oh, it, it, things like this. It, I know the animations are really, really jerky, but this was the kind of thing that got me into running in real life. I just, I just love this. Absolutely love it. Just wish it had been executed better. I'll tell you what, though, after playing the reboot and going back to this, it makes me appreciate what they were trying to do with this one more. And then um, the good thing is, um, in Shadow, from what we've played so far, there is a little bit of rock climbing in it. It's not just bolting from one ledge to another. They, they have Ooh. actually got hand over hand climbing and stuff in it now. So. Good. Yeah, so. Bring it on! Direction. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Always just, I, I genuinely fear for her safety in this because she looks a little bit drunk whenever she's actually climbing around. The <laughs> she found that tequila. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! But yeah, some of the views in this game are actually really good. Mm -hmm. It's like I say, you know, I just I loved it when it was when it was still. You know, you could take screenshots. I mean, even this now, looking over it. Like, Oh shit. I did it too early, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always when I'm streaming. <laughs> Do this again. Huzzah! <laughs> Ragdoll deaths are still hilarious. <laughs> Alright, now let's bring on a different weapon and take care of these guys. Weird Naga things. Ow! Ow! This is what I don't miss, and it, it's still something <laughs> they've not been able to fix in the in the new games. Combat with animal in this engine just does not seem to work. I think it's just the engine they need to fucking change already. <laughs> the thing's been used since Legend. <laughs> I mean, what the engine's like? What, 13, 14 years old? Yeah. yeah I mean, even happens. older than that, they use it for Legacy of Kane, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I, I remember that actually. Yeah, um, Soul Reaver. The yeah. First game. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's an impressive engine. You know what it can cope with in terms of streaming the um, streaming the environment and whatnot. But now, see this part when she's coming down, and you see like the fog and the dirt and everything coming out. Mm. This is Tomb Raider. I'm not gonna bother with the cutscenes. All right, all the climbing. Huzzah! Still shimming at the minute, AJ? I might be a little bit behind. Yeah, still shimming. Cool. Right now I'm on the second platform after a jump. Ugh. I hate when she's balancing, her face looks really weird. It's that deep in concentration face. Yeah. I was gonna call it constipation face, but okay. <laughs> Deep in constipation. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this whole bit, I remember being stuck here for a little while as well. Me too. Now. There was a specific platform or something I just couldn't see. Sure I'll remember. Oh boy. I just trolled them. <laughs> <laughs> the 
hell? Oh. Well, you're it's about to see a really weird uh, death. <laughs> Don't ask, because I have no idea. <laughs> Crystal loves their invisible barriers. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing I wish it, we could get back to, you know, where every wall looks climbable. And if it looks climbable, it is. Or yeah. at least it has some kind of collision detection on it, at least, so you're not just rubbing your face up and down a wall. I mean, that really don't sound healthy, but, you know. <laughs> Gaming! <laughs> uh, yes. I see you, Nagus. <laughs> and that's how you troll. is so ugly. Yeah. I hate, I hate that icon in the top corner. It's just... Oh. It kind of feels like they're trying to go with the Angel of Darkness route, but I don't know why. I, I, I'd much more just be in favor of just a nice minimalist thing. Health bar. By all means, show what weapon she's got, but you don't need all these glowing people. That. How many grenades you've got. It's just... Exactly, I don't understand what they were doing. Why is she shooting that way? You're about to get a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love how that was like their big thing, like dual aiming is now a thing, and look how buggy it is. Is there another one down there? Apparently. Alright, yeah, we're going this way. No, we're not going that way, okay. Or maybe we are. Yeah, this way. No? Oh, that's right. Don't you knock me down, don't you knock me down. Headshot. I am getting riggedy riggedy wrecked. Up we go. Getting or flashbacks not. To playing an getting flashbacks to playing anniversary and getting knocked off the, uh, the top of the pyramid by those flying beasts. Oh god. Yeah, that's like some PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with the camera at that short range and these overpowered things that are just going to send you through that over and over. No, thank you. There you go, Matt. That's your Vietnam War flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> that's what started me on the tequila. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, so I love how they were so hellbent and not giving her medi packs, but just some random fruit she picks up for health. Yeah, what, what even is that? I mean, they look like little. Um, I don't know if you get them in Jamro Oli. Do you know what one of those is? Uh, I know Swiss, it's a they... Swiss roll. Like, I'm gonna take a close look here, but it looks like it's like a little vase with something red in it. Hmm. It looks like a, a meat log. Oh, there we go. I got the camera. Yeah, it looks like a mug. It has an elephant on it, and it has some kind of red juice in it. That That's really mm -hmm. weird. Tasty and healing. We're just going to call it tequila. <laughs> that's how Laura heals. Tequila! 
she moves around like she's drunk most of the time, so yeah, it would make sense. I mean, you're not wrong. Up we go. Can you believe we're almost done with Underworld or uh, Thailand already? Really? Yep. Oh my word. I remember this being a lot bigger than it, or maybe it was just because I was getting so frustrated and getting stuck. I don't know. Oh, trust me, that day I was going through getting screenshots for us, it was way longer. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the bit when you or when you finally get back to that statue and it moves. That is, you know, it's that kind of epic moment that really brings this level to life. But Ooh, all of this is actually, good. here's some uh, information for you. Did you know that puzzle was actually supposed to be longer? Oh, really? Yes. Um, after you moved the statues, you were actually supposed to put the mirrors on them itself. You were supposed to find and collect them. No, there's a puzzle like that in Lost Legacy, actually, thinking about it. That's actually kind of funny. Mm. But yeah, uh, somebody hacked the demo and they found the uh, item files. The puzzle was supposed to be way bigger. Mm. I don't it's know why they cut it down. That, yeah, another thing that got cut, wasn't it? It's like the uh, the duplicate ship with all the same shipping, craters, uh, shipping crates and whatnot on it. So, a lot I think of copy that's... and paste. Yeah, I think that's the main thing that bothered me with the game. Like, there was so much copy and paste. Like, it seemed like they didn't really know where to go with it after so much time. Mm -hmm. Like, they were just trying to fill air. Oh, we have um, we have a guest. Hello, oh. me too. Don't know how long he's been now. He or she. I'm very sorry if I've missed you. It's okay. You can blame Matt. We do. <laughs> <laughs> You believe it? I'm sober and I'm missing things. That's right. I just got a follow alert. Why did I get a follow alert? I'm not on Twitch. Or are you? Apparently I am, according to OBS. <laughs> nah, I have um thingy set up so if like somebody follows me, it gives me like a little noise and then a picture. So apparently somebody followed me on Twitch. And I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong place, people. We did put the link up in the right place, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate it. this water spring. Yeah, this part I remember pissing me off when I was younger. That is a point. How old were you when you actually played this for the first time? Let's see, when did Underworld come out? 2008? Yeah. I was... Ten years ago. You were a child. I was either 16 or 17. <laughs> but in mental state, I was probably like 30, so... <laughs> <laughs> you are an old soul, as they might say. I am. That's why people don't like me, and I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know how the old saying goes, you don't like me? Fuck your couch. <laughs> hey. It's a tiger. Give it a kick for me. I just gave it a tranquilizer just for you. I force fed him tequila. Up. <laughs> oh. There we go. Ah, I missed it anyway. God damn it. All Natlas fault. Oh, hey, Brandon. Oh, hey, Brandon. I remember him from Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I feel like we need that song, it's going down. Laura's yelling timber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this camera is really, really broken. Totally agree with that. Actually that would have been a really good song for Tomb Raider since she spends half the game uh fallen. Mm. Well, I actually I remember when the when they released the first trailer for this, or one of the first trailers for this, and they had the um, the lamb song. Was the um... oh yeah, Gurky. Gurky, yeah, yeah, and oh my word, I was so hyped for this when I saw it. I'm so mad because we finally got access to that trailer in high definition, but we can't post it because of the song. Oh. If you post it, you automatically get like a copyright strike. That is really annoying. Maybe we should we should contact Lamb and <laughs> lobby them. What we should do is just take it, re-render it, put a different song in, like an instrumental or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, how you doing? Oh, 
Hey, Avalon Raider. Oh wait, we have more people popping in? We have more people. Welcome, people. <laughs> Let's hear it in the chat. What did you guys think of Underworld? Well, Avalon Raider loved it. Awesome. I, I was ambivalent. I still don't know how I feel about it. Like, I'm mixed. Like, after reboot, I appreciate it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But at the same point, I can still see a lot of things wrong with the game. Like, mainly the animations and the camera. Mm -hmm. And I the combat. It was, uh, from, a, from a technical standpoint, it was just a little bit broken. Mm -hmm. Had some good ideas. You, you can really see they tried to recapture some of, the, um, some of the old style of the gameplay. I mean, there were just massive sections where it was just quiet. It was just you. You were just platforming. I mean, it kind of, like, Crystal were listening to us at this point, but I think they listened too much. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there has to be a fine line. I mean, my, my biggest complaint with this game is the fact that they brought Natla back in. I thought it was quite lazy. And yeah. And like they just shoehorned her into their own story. Because uh, it, it did feel like Anniversary was, was supposed to be a standalone game, and then... Suddenly, Natla becomes a series-long villain. I don't think she you know to. it's weird though because I think they did have it planned with Natla because at the end of Legend, when you're fighting the uh, final boss, yeah, the crates. Yeah, around, uh, yeah. I mean, I'd I'd hope it's just an Easter egg, quite honestly. That's but, what uh, I thought, but then when the remake got announced, I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> and how much they changed her as well. I mean, um, she she looked genuinely quite alien. I yeah, yeah. And then suddenly she looks like a uh, Kate Blanchett. Oh god, those fingers. <laughs> and that nose as well. That nose! <laughs> like <a> ski slope. <laughs> she hit the tequila from Russia. <laughs> she cut that special tequila. <laughs> tequila, if you want to sponsor us, feel free to contact. <laughs> oh, yes. Send me everything. I will test it for moving back. <laughs> He will do a podcast using your tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brandon, the the bugs and the animations. We we were having a bright laugh at the very start of this. Oh um, yes. What the AJ hell? Went, AJ went kung fu kicking off of a cliff. Watch my grenade. Point. Watch my grenade. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm... Yeah, it's, um... This is insane. I'm getting bugs I never got on any other playthrough. <laughs> yeah, um, me too. Has just mentioned uh, he played. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep assuming your gender. I don't actually know if you're a guy or a girl. I can't. Oh. But um, yeah, uh, mentioning that um, played Underworld before Legend, and how much of a relief it was to actually then play Legend afterwards. Is um, yeah, I quite agree with that. For all you can say about Legend not feeling very Tomb Raider, -y, it. <laughs> It was polished. It, yeah. It did feel finished. It might have been very short, but... <laughs> what was it Ian Livingston said? Um, a short, sharp thrill ride? Let's see... I kind of blocked out those days, so I don't really remember much. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, they were erased from my memory. I don't remember anything from back in 2005-ish. Mm. I, I remember being excited for it, but that was mainly... Because There, that first trailer. That, yeah, I, I was really genuinely excited, and then it just kind of slowly went downhill. Yeah, I was excited too until I played the game and I figured out they cut literally 90% of it wasn't in that trailer. Yeah! But again, you would have thought they had so long to actually work on it, you know. They, I mean, what was there was polished and done. It wasn't like this where they've cut loads out and the, what's <laughs> left is uh, a bit shocking. I mean, I will give them credit. I figured most of that stuff was probably like test rooms. But still, why would you put that in a trailer? Especially a reveal trailer. Mm -hmm. So you say that this puzzle here, what you were supposed to get on all. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, as soon as his bat stops, like, freaking out. Okay. So. Let me bring my camera up. Down here, with the statues. 
apparently, where is it? Those things right there, the crystals, mm -hmm. you were actually supposed to find them originally. Oh, okay. Because when you go in the demo and you hack the files, they're actually items that you can pick up. Right, right. Uh, like, it's weird, like, how they make the game, they have the items that you pick up hidden behind the maps. So if I was to go, like, below or outside this wall here, I would be able to pick up those crystals. I see. It's really weird. But there's some dev talk for you. <laughs> yeah, they, um, the thing that really bugged me about many of the games, I mean, we, we were chatting about the fact that the very first level, where you have that underwater <laughs> puzzle, and there's the three wheels that you've got to slot into the wall, and they put two of them in that very first room, mm -hmm. uh, rather than spreading them out in the massive underwater area. It just seemed like they, I don't know if they thought people would get bored of trying to find them, or people wouldn't be able to find them, so they just tried to simplify it as much as possible in places, and I guess this with the crystals in here, this is a prime example of that, if you were supposed to originally go off and find them. They made it worse, though, because, like, that fir the one that's like wedged into the door, you can't see it, it blends in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you spend so much time looking for a third wheel, and it's actually there the entire time. Yeah, I, I was so, so hacked off. I cannot get the camera to see. Mm. There we go. Yeah, this, was an this was another bit that really, really stuffed me as well, trying to get back up here using the wire. Yeah, it's like if you don't have it directly on where the button icon's supposed to pop up, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, though, I really miss this kind of atmosphere in Tomb Raider. Just the isolation. Yeah. I mean, like I say, it, it, you know, it is coming back. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, can you believe we only got, like, not even a month, a little under? That's absolutely flying. Absolutely flying. I've got my day booked off for when it comes out, which is going to be great. Although um, I have pre-ordered it, so I should be getting it a couple of days early, apparently. Matt, Although, I don't know. You finally got to be here for an actual reveal of a Tomb Raider game in the entire PR campaign, and it was so short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it, it was weird. It just seemed to be a flurry of activity. Yeah. Good job. But yeah, um, but there is more content based on Shadow coming very, very soon chat so uh, do keep an eye on our tunnel for that yes and there is more podcasts coming people keep asking about those as Capcom would say we do it <laughs> I keep forgetting there's a sprint button Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Curse Bluge. <laughs> Too much tequila. <laughs> oh, it's just so wonky. It's pretty much just what I'm gonna blame now. Every time Laura falls or the camera bugs out. Too much tequila! It's clearly not half good stuff. No. She bought that cheap stuff at, like, the, uh, gas station. <laughs> How many people are in here, Matt? Uh, we have got nine people watching. Oh, nice. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Yes, I hope you're enjoying the tequila just as much as we are. <laughs> oh, me too. That's just AJ's accent. He does mean Lara. He does Yes, in America there is like 20,000 different ways to say Laura, Lara. It It's all over. Mm -hmm. He does know that it's Lara though, he doesn't... So I certainly hope you don't anyway, AJ. I mean, it gets confusing, especially with the game itself, because you have people who call her Laura, Lara... In-game. Oh, uh, Nathan Hurley has just said in the chat, there's a running gag in the series uh, where Lara has an obsession with tequila. Exactly! He gets it. Yeah, I, I, I did not know that. <laughs> I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> so I always knew I had an affinity for Lara Croft. We both like tequila. That's enough. Both like rock climbing. I remember there was uh, 
one of the comic books they made, she was drinking and then she actually smashed the beer bottle over the guy's head. <laughs> it's that kind of edginess she used to get from the classic series. Yeah. It kind of lost that. I did it. But yeah, I try to avoid saying Lara as much as possible because everybody always calls me out on it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fucking Moroccan, okay? <laughs> it's not your fault. You were just born in the wrong place. Exactly. <laughs> Did you just assume my nationality? <laughs> but 13 Obey in the chat has just said he felt Lara would be more of a bloody fight. Well, you know, maybe she likes both. <laughs> I mean, I can see classic Croft being an alcoholic. They tried to make <laughs> Angel of Darkness one. Because <laughs> originally they talked about having her getting drunk and burning down the manor. Oh, that was that was one of the reasons why I was so, so happy when I saw the um, the initial teaser for Underworld, where it did seem like she'd burned down the manor. I thought, oh my god, what's driven her to do this? And then, of course, they took the easy way out and made it the double hoe. Yeah, they... They had so much potential with that, and they kind of yeah. ruined it. Well, it. It just had so many people talking. You know, what could she have possibly needed to do? This she had to fake her. Oh, I yeah. still remember because I watched the Man Bro channel just to see the fucking trailer. Mm. Spike TV. Wait, shout out to that Norse chick. I need Thor's broccoli to get his hot dog, and I need the hot dog to kill a god. <laughs> We're basically done with Thailand. This is crazy. Yeah, that was very, very quick. Maybe we'll do a little bit of Croft Manor. Oh. <laughs> that was a smooth transition. Right? I remember this video too. That Norse chick took this. And she parried it. She put, Lara, you were a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the bit with the, um, the, um, her dad's graffiti scrawled on the wall somewhere, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 I remember this now. This was here long before the upper temple was added. Ooh, Alan Digney asks, what was our My best son, and worst underworld level? Ooh, that is easy. Twin, um... My favorite would be Thailand and Mexico. My least favorite would probably be the first one or John Mayon Island mm, or the last say, one um, or the boats. Mayan Island that was the um, the one with all the ice trolls, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hated that level. The massive swinging hammers and things. It just felt very hokey. Oh, you know very, what? Very blah. Even though I hate them, I think I had to go with the boat ones because they just felt like filter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I did. I didn't mind the uh, the first boat level. No, um, the first one was fun. Yeah, it was just being put back on an identical boat, uh, with the only difference being you now had Thor's hammer, which you know, it was quite nice zapping those guards. But yeah, uh, my my favorite level was absolutely Mexico. Uh, I did think it was a bit too sprawling the the initial bit where you had the motorbike, but once you got into Shabalba. I just thought that that was amazing, just getting down there. Although I don't know oh, wow. why that just made me remember Shambhala from Uncharted 2, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I do have a soft spot as well for um, the first level with the, the deep sea diving bit. I, I really liked that. I like I, it once you get out of the water. Mm. Oh, like underpuss. For the underpuss. Yeah. Underpuss. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has to hail the underpuss. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like when somebody asks me what religion I follow, I'm like, well, you can read the book of underpuss. <laughs> I remember when that first came out and Two Meter Forums had like a thread just dedicated to memes for underpuss. Oh, God, yeah. Like somebody, it was back when like Britney Spears came out with her, uh, that oh, Blackout cool. album. So they made one with a pink wig on the underpuss and it said, it's underpuss, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to oh. see Britney Spears last weekend. That was fun. I just fall off the cliff. Uh, yeah, this whole bit, it's it, uh, yet again, so, so buggy. 
very buggy. It's mainly the camera. Hmm. Like, if they would release this again and just fix the fucking camera. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there is a good game somewhere underneath this. Mm hmm. I love Ooh. how much color it has, too. Yeah. Alan has had, um, thought Under the Manor was by far the worst level. Uh, Thailand and Mexico being the high points. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I, mean, I there's, actually there's have to agree with that, too, because I actually forgot about the manor. Mm -hmm. And it's actually the next level, too, so... Yeah. I mean, the, the only good bit about the manor was seeing Alistair die. I agree with that. <laughs> and the Doppelho fight. Yeah. Damn it! I didn't line the camera properly, and she did a backflip. <laughs> I promise, guys, I am not this bad. It's just the game. <laughs> One of our one of our chats has said, um, that "What do you guys think, Natalie? And would you like them to make a comeback someday?" Uh, I actually, I, I didn't mind Amanda in Legend. I thought she was quite a good character. I, I thought she was underutilized in this game, quite honestly. I actually agree with Matt. I thought she was a good character, just very underwhelmingly used. Mm -hmm. I didn't like what they did to her face in this game as well. No. I, I mean, yeah, they oh they God. made Natalie so much more human looking and far more pretty, and then. Yeah, Amanda just looked like she'd been hit with a spade. I think they kind of realized they fucked up, though, because Amanda's design is basically Natla in Legend. Mm. Yeah, so they yeah, had yeah, to differentiate them a little bit. Yeah. But um, Natla, yeah, I, I agree, Nathan. It was just lazy and cheap to bring her in. I, I really didn't think she was necessary. It, it felt weird suddenly trying to combine all these different underworlds. This has been one of my criticisms with Anniversary, in particular the fact that in St. Francis' Folly, they changed all of the different rooms mm -hmm. to make them all part of the same pantheon. And then when you get to Underworld, they start saying, oh, all these different Underworlds, they're all connected. And you think, okay, it would it would give a better sense of that if you left all the rooms with different names from the different pantheons. It would suggest that they're all connected in some way and would tie in quite nicely with this. And yet when they were making Anniversary, they thought, oh, no, that doesn't make sense. They have to all be Greek. It was lack of foresight, really, on that kind of part. That entire game just... No. <laughs> no, there was there was so much potential. There's bits that I just think, oh, that's really really good. And I think if you were to somehow be able to mash Anniversary and the original together, the the perfect game could be in there. But so many bits of it were underwhelming. Agreed. Mm. Oh, you know that they, they went so so far as to say, oh, the, the Lost Valley is going to be amazing, and and then when you actually played it, it, it was so inferior to the original game. Oh, here's a question for the chat, since I just got done with it. What did you guys think of the movie? No, bad spiders. Bad spiders. Bad. Bad. I figured I'd ask them since I triggered so many people on Twitter with my response. <laughs> Me too loved it. Awesome. I've still not seen it yet, actually. But then I've, I've, uh, um, I, I'm a bad fan. I've never seen any of the Tomb Raider. You heathen! <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think of the, uh, what did you think of the film? Then? Me? Mm. I love, 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 loved it. I actually thought it was better than Reboot and Rise combined. Uh -huh. Which is what triggered so many people on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it was true though. I mean, um. Everything about the uh, the game it it just didn't feel right. It didn't mm -mm. Like last, you know, even watching the few clips of the uh, of the new film that I've seen, she does have an edge to her. You can tell there's a confidence there. It, it, it does feel like more like the character that we've not seen since the nineties. Honestly, well, it just feels like the writing in the movie itself just does everything better. Like. Sure, they got rid of some of the uh, I don't want to spoil it, but they got rid of some of like the spiritual stuff I guess you could say mm. but it's not supposed to be a direct adaptation of you know the game and that's what people want it why would you want that to begin with it would be so I know, boring I know we've already got the game and the game was terrible so why would you do that as a film exactly yeah. but I do like I'm not going to spoil it but they do tie rise and you know reboot together at the end which I mm. thought was really cool 
Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, um, there's a lot of love for Alicia in the um, in the chat here. Um, I wouldn't mind, assuming Camilla doesn't come back and they have the money, if they were to maybe get Alicia to do the voice of Lara in future games. But I know it's probably a pipe dream. I said the same thing, actually. Like, after hearing her in the role with the movie, I'm like, I want her in the game. <laughs> Hell, she could even do the mocap. Yeah, and she pulls off good English accent. She's... An excellent actress. I mean, she's won an Oscar, right? Mm -hmm. she nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, she's clearly got the pipes. She's got the chops. Or hell, if they can't get her, just bring Keeley back. I'd be up for that. I'd I mean, be up for that. I mean, I was talking to um to Shelley Long. Uh, Shelley Long. That's a that was the actor. Shelly Blonde? <laughs> yeah, Shelly Blonde, sorry. I was thinking, no, it's Diane from Cheers. Uh, yeah, I was speaking to Shelly Blonde not too long ago, and, and she said, you know, if they asked her back, even she'd be up for it. And she apparently auditioned for uh, for Legend and came down to her and Keeley. So, well, from what I heard, I thought she actually turned down the role. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, so that's that has been like a little mystified of why she would come back now. Mm. Well, it's, it's definitely, you know, it's a very passionate fan base. It's um, it, it's a game that I don't think it's ever going to go away. It's always going to be around in some incarnation or another. Oh, yeah. Tomb Raider is always going to be here. Mm. Even after we're long gone, Tomb Raider is going to be still going. Oh, that's sad. That is kind of sad. I mean, who would have defended <laughs> then? <laughs> There'll be no one left to defend the classics. Oh, my God. Can you imagine, like, 40, 60 years from now, people are like, can we get that Ultra HD remaster of Tomb Raider 1? <laughs> <laughs> or as Capcom would call it, the Ultra Hyper Deluxe Edition. <laughs> I know we're talking too much here, but I can't wait for the new Resident Evil game. Same. I need that remake too in my life. Mm. Yeah, I, I do hate it, so you just find yourself wishing your life away. <laughs> you know, we've got, what, another five months or something until January, but... Basically, like, Shadow is gonna be, like, my holdover game until Resident Evil 2 mm. comes out. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I've been sour on games for a little while now. I, I feel like I'm, I'm starting to outgrow them a little bit. Same. Um, but uh, Shadow really got me back into it. Um, so it, it's the first Tomb Raider game in a very long time I've been excited for, and the first game in general that I've been excited for for a long time. So like it's weird for me because I was starting to get really bored with gaming until I started mm. playing uh, Beyond Two Souls, mm. and then I you know experienced that story and I'm like you know what this this is why I play video games. Mm. It tells stories that movies aren't capable of or don't have enough time to do. Did you play Detroit? Not yet. I'm waiting for a price drop. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't want to pay sixty dollars for an interactive movie. Nah. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, I, I loved Heavy Rain when that was out, but Beyond Two Souls, it, it just the story seemed a little bit out. I didn't think I could get on board with it, so I didn't give it a try. Ah, I'm a sci-fi nut. <laughs> oh, I love my sci-fi. I do. I. I, I, I there seemed to be something ever so slightly off, and I did play the demo, and I just I didn't get into it. I don't know. I think you would like it. I think when you come to America, <laughs> you're gonna expose me to it. <laughs> I am. There's actually a two-player mode. There's a two-player mode. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you could actually take on the role of the spirit. Hey. Okay, that was it. Which means you could help me get my achievements. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Brandon, totally agree. I I can't remember the last time I was so excited for a Tomb Raider game since Shadows come out. Yeah, like I say, you're going to see a lot more content over the the coming weeks. Hopefully, you'll uh, you'll get why we're so excited. Yeah, I am very skeptical when it comes to like media releases because I've pretty much been around since the beginning. Yeah, and I know how PR works because I am a PR person. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I'm always very skeptical about it. I need to experience the game for myself to form my own opinion. Mm -hmm. That's like the team's going nuts about it. I'm like, mm, that's great, but I still need to hear for myself. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, Nathan is conflicted about wanting to get and play the new Shadow. So, um, uh, what... You know, what is conflicting you about it? As Lara goes skipping through the crypts. 
I'd forgotten this entire level existed, actually. Right? It's because it's so forgettable. Mm. Yeah, I remembered it. Oh, she goes and does something, and then the, the place blows. And that was all I remembered. Yeah, Doppelho goes crazy. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you've actually seen it, but I made a parody video. I took the fight, and then I took the music out of the scene, and I put the Angel of Darkness main theme song. <laughs> <laughs> and then when she kicks uh, Underworld Laura down, and it just has a picture of her standing there, I have Angel of Darkness's line, I feel stronger now, and then she runs off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to re-upload that. Ah, oh, the good old days. Yes. I really wish that Norse chick 2 was still around. <laughs> I love her parodies. <laughs> Like the Die Natla song. And Janice the Friendly Prostitute. Oh, move along, Cher. Move along, my Cher. You make the place look crowded. <laughs> mm, Nathan says, uh, probably Lara's shenanigans being the same meal set pieces and being a chew toy from what he's heard. Mm, based on what I've seen, like, I, you know, I'm on Survivor Reborn, but I haven't been able to go to any events for it to play it. But based on media I've seen, it looks like they're actually listening to classic fans. You know, we can remove the white ledges. Um, it doesn't seem like it's all about Lara, as Reyes would say. Well, I will say um, there's a lot more exploration in the game than we've seen in any of the other ones. Um, yeah. There's a lot more quiet, a lot more finding your way around, which I thought was great. Uh, set pieces wise, yeah, I, I think that's just a staple of this genre now, and unfortunately they're always going to be there. But um, certainly Lara seems to be finally coming into her own a little bit. You know, I, I've always had misgivings about this current incarnation of Lara. I don't really like the portrayal by Camilla Ludington as well. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for the fact that Lara is getting a bit of an edge to us. So... Hopefully you'll um, yeah. Hopefully you'll see something you like about it. But no, I totally understand where you're coming from. I just love the fact somebody finally called her out, mm. like Lara herself. Yeah, I mean, um, Jonah. Mm -hmm. You know, Earl's portrayal of Jonah and that whole. Yeah, I mean, Earl's a sweetheart as well. You know, you can see that he really, really cares about this character, and he's really put a lot of work into it. It really comes across. I was still waiting for Reyes to pop out of nowhere, like out of the corner of the screen, because it's all about Lara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brandon, the um, removing the white paint, it really, really makes a difference. It, yeah. Let's wait and see. Wait and see. Can't wait. One more month, boys. <laughs> yeah, nice and um, Camilla's British accent. It, it's it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I you can't forgive it and the fact that she is British I, I don't understand how her accent could have slipped so much uh because she plays in that American show Grey's Anatomy Ugh. so she's constantly it's... having to use an American twang I don't know I don't know I mean uh, look at Elite I mean that's true <laughs> yeah. I think you know if, if you've got a good dialect coach it, it's fine um I wonder whether or not she's just not felt she's had to work on it, or no one's had the courage to tell her that maybe she needs to work on it, I don't know. I mean, she's, she seems absolutely lovely, but I, I've not been a fan of her trail at all. I, yeah, I don't... I don't really have anything, like, negative per se to say about her, because I don't really follow her career. No. I just don't like her as Lara. No, no. And, and that's absolutely fine, you know. So I, I, I absolutely love Helen Mirren, but I, I can't imagine her as Lara. Now, see, that just shows how diverse our group is, too, because, you know, I love Janelle as Lara, <laughs> and Matt is not a fan. Uh, yeah. Jen loves Janelle, I think. Um, yeah, I think when we uh, when we last had this conversation, I, I, yeah, I've, I've always been a, a really strong fan of uh, Judy. Yep. She was she was the first Lara I played because I started with Tomb Raider 2. Uh, so she's always been my Lara, but I'm also a very big fan of Shelly. I really liked Keely. I thought Keely was the best actress to play Lara. She just didn't have the best content really mm -hmm. to act out. All comes down uh, to scripting. Yeah. 
Whereas Janelle, I always thought Janelle's accent was just a, a bit off. She sounds a little bit, and no offense to Janelle, but she sounds a, a little bit lower class than I like my Lara to be. I think that's probably why I like her the most because it was around that time I started getting older with, you know, Tomb Raider 4. Mm. And it's like, okay, I'm starting to pick up on, you know, who are these voice actors? You know, this isn't just a character. These are actually real people playing these characters. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I st it it just became like one of those things like when you would watch a cartoon or a movie, you would get used to somebody in that role. Mm. And I think that's what happened with me and Janelle. I just like when it comes to Lara, I just affiliate Lara and Janelle. Mm -hmm. No, I totally get that. That's Except... why I guess uh, for some people, Camilla is Lara. Mm -hmm. She's the Lara that they've grown up with, but. And that's totally respectable. I'm not going to, you know, yeah. dish on somebody because of their preference of what they like or, you know. Yeah, I totally get it. But, yeah, it just, uh, just upsets me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> no, it's, it's, they kind of hate that you get online when you point out that someone's performance is flawed. You know, it's, um, it, it, I think it's a, a younger generation thing because certainly when I was growing up, you know, because... Judith, you know, her voice was great. She might not have been the best actress in the world. You know, she didn't really have much to work with. But, you know, if someone called her out on that, I don't think there'd be any kind of backlash. But True. These days, minor criticism of someone's performance and suddenly you're getting dog piled on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter is known for their cult followings. Mm. Oh, Brandon's just pointed out, of course, yeah, we have... <laughs> as an incarnation of... Well... Wait, what's that? Uh, Jen. Our own Jen as, uh, as Lara. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we actually made a little video before Matt joined. I think it was like a year before Matt joined. We um, had a competition giving away copies of Rise, and we had Jen revoice Lara in the Tomb Raider 3 model. <laughs> that was so fun to make. That was just fantastic, actually. You should, um, everyone in the chat. Oh, Jen. As well. It's absolutely fantastic. Jen actually should be here too. Mm. Show that Jen some love. <laughs> yeah, she, she's in the chat. She's in the chat. Yep. Oh god, um, someone's just um, a key. Scouse accent. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> That's <was> quite alright. <laughs> Here's some foreshadowing for everybody. Mama with half of her face gone. Ooh, never noticed that before. Yeah. I always thought that was weird, and then when we get to the end of the game, you know why? Mm -hmm. It was such a sad ending for Lara's mom. You know, it really didn't make me sad. I was just like, can we be done with this now? Yeah. <laughs> it was more, you know, I, I, I would have been, I would have been satisfied if she was just dead. Yeah. You know, they found her and she was dead. You know, um. But to have her turned into something so horrible. Oh. It was like salt in the wound. They had us looking for mommy for two games, and then she's dead. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and she would be. She yeah. Would be. There would be no way she would. But she was still there, and, you know, her, her lovely skirt and suit or whatever it was was kind <laughs> of intact. And. Yeah. Oh, here's our favorite character, Matt. Whoa. Dad Angel of Darkness, Lara. Yeah. I love how they killed Alistair off. Same, she's just like, fuck you. Have you listened very carefully? It sounds like Laura's saying moo instead of no. There you are, Alistair. I love how Doppelganger just shows up and grants everybody every fan's wish. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, thirteen obey in the chat has just said, um, I've always. Oh, glow. Wait, say again. You cut out. <laughs> Oh, sorry, um, um, the 13 Obey in the chat has just mentioned, um, oh, what if there was some human consciousness left within Amelia and at the end she was actually trying to hug Lara. Oh, God. 
I just wanted a hug. <laughs> Bless. You know, all those years waiting for Lara to come and rescue her, and then she gets shot in the face for her trouble. To be fair, I would respond the same way. I don't like hugs from people I don't know, so that's basically what I would do. <laughs> Somebody would try to give me a hug. <laughs> You're not my friend. My friend died a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking oh, Haruken off on the cliff. Burning mana. And now we're off to Matt's favorite section. It did seem like um, over this trilogy there were quite a fair few references to the make as well, and I, I always liked the scene with Trinity on the motorbike, and so sliding around Mexico on that bike, it, yeah, I was fanboying a little bit for that. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool too that Laura actually reacts to um, the rain when she's climbing. Mm, yeah, 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 the slipperiness and so on. Yep. And the, the, the water effect in this as well, with the water dripping down some uh, climbable cave walls, it's really impressive. I actually didn't even notice that until I was playing the other day. Mm -hmm. It's like, you, you can see where they've really put the effort in this game, graphically speaking, and that's why it's so jarring when you see bits like the two ships that look identical and they've been copied and pasted and so on, you know, it's... The, the difference in quality from one level to the other, it, it's so variable. And I gotta say, it's kind of hilarious when you get on the ship and all the enemies are the same skin. Mm. And they look like the creative director, Eric Lindstrom. Oh, really? Okay. Or as we call him, Epic Lindstrom. <laughs> oh, the ego to put yourself in the game that many. I mean, I don't think they did it on purpose, but it just looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brandon just mentioned he never actually finished on. Really? Yeah. That's okay, Brandon. We'll do it for you. <laughs> Where was this book? Was it? Because uh, I remember there being a book, I think, the actual. Yes, there is actually a couple major bugs in Mexico. Like the the exit won't open. Or... Yep, I actually got confused because we were actually having a conversation before on Survivor Reborn, and Lori mentioned about the bridge not coming up, mm. and I was writing out when I was taking my uh, screenshots that one day, and the bridge wasn't there. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> like <laughs> Lori cursed me. <laughs> And then I realized you have to jump and it just makes it itself. Oh, God. Like, okay. At least we didn't, um, in the versions that we played of this, um... English in there, uh, in Thailand. And, of course, it was far difficult, far more difficult to patch those games for the Wii. True. So, actually prevented a lot of people from even finishing it. The ship, final copy. Well, you know what happens when you patch a bug. You patch one, take it down... Mm. Oh, wait, no. How does that go? You got 99 bugs in the game. You patch one, get rid of it, and now you have 102 bugs in the game. <laughs> 13 Obeys just mentioned um, apparently there was some cut content in Under. Father was meant to be a character. Why do I keep dying? What am I doing wrong? Um, No, her father was never meant to be playable. That I know. Rub Rutland's father, like. Oh, Rutland's father? Yeah, yeah, Rutland from Legend. Oh. Actually, I do That's remember awesome. hearing something about that, but I don't... That was probably just concept stages. Mm. It's not something I'm aware of, actually. I might have to have a look into that. Yeah, I don't remember... I remember hearing something about it, but not much. Mm. What am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, you picked up that thing. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to have to ghetto backtrack. Up, up, up. She keeps dying from apparently falling not even a foot. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a very annoying thing in all of these games, actually, where the, the game decides how far she can fall depending on where you are as opposed to there being an actual rule that allows yeah. the survivors to fall. Oh, here comes the kitties. Bad kitty. Wait, is there another one? Holy oh, shit. Holy oh, shit. Turn the camera. How are you still up at a tranquilize your ass? Go to sleep. Just run them over on your bike. Good point. 
Well, I did. Okay, he did. Yeah, that spinning on the bike, that was, that was Trinity on the freeway all over. <laughs> I wish the people could actually feel how it feels to control this bike because it feels like a tank. <laughs> Satisfying though. When you when you got the hang of it, it, was, it felt very meaty, very chunky. But yeah, this was this was my criticism with this level. There's just far too much empty space. Agreed. Like it feels open world, but there's nothing really occupying yeah. the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I, I really I, I'm a fan of this recent ah! fad of making everything open world. Because there's there's only been one game to my knowledge that has done open world wilderness very well and that was the the original red dead redemption mm -hmm. uh, every other game that's done it, it just tends to pack it with oh find all these flowers or you know shoot all these targets handing from random trees like they did in reboot it's it doesn't make it feel worthwhile not really no that's one of my biggest complaint not every game needs to be open world for the sake of it mm, absolutely I mean, in a sense, Tomb Raider kind of does it correctly because it's not fully open world, it's just like hub systems. Yeah, yeah. But then again, as Rise proved, that could also be detrimental because the environments all feel the same. Yeah, there's so much I wish I could tell you about and talk about Shadow, but it's the embargo at the moment. Yeah, let's not have Matt ship to Japan and beat him with a stick. <laughs> soon, soon, we will see. Or will we? <laughs> kitty! Bad kitty! Headshot oh, for you. Acrobatics is so terrible. These she's, guys, you know, she's she's doing a lot of flipping. A lot, not really effective. Cat is just looking at her like, "What the hell are you doing?" Like, lady, why are you trying to make me dizzy? <laughs> I love trolling these guys. He's got dance. Mmm, Avalon. Yeah, yeah, the tenth. That's right. All right. On that little stylish move where she does her little flip to up the pole. It's just so unnecessary. It really, really is. But at least she didn't have puffy hair in this game. True. She looks like she has a ferret on her head. <laughs> I saw someone on Twitter today mention how uh, how that was a nitpick. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no, it's life. It's life or death. That head is fixing. <laughs> Hopefully it will. You know, there's um there's a degree of customization uh, available in Shadow, so I'm hoping there'll be customizable hair at some point. Yeah, just give us the braid. Be done with it. Yeah. Well, you never know. That might be how the game finishes. True. Braiding her hair and taking two guns. Brilliant. Wait, I missed a jaguar. Damn it. <laughs> See, this is why I have Matt on stream with me, because I can blame him. All <laughs> yeah, his I'm, fault. I'm totally the albatross here. Exactly. Ooh, 13 Obey in the chat has just asked what we think of the Lara Croft games. I love Lara Croft Go. And I love Temple of Osiris if it was a little bit less buggy. <laughs> uh, he or she would uh, love one. Wait, say again, Matt, you yeah. broke up. Oh, sorry, they were just saying that they would love to see uh, actual... Which, um, I remember back in the day, actually, think it's, it's a bit of a, a crappy... It's from, from 
Tomb Raider. Love the idea of riding around a car as far as you think you can. Ow! I never actually finished Lara Croft though, I should go back and do that. I did move for a while. You it, really, it just, really should. Yeah, it just it really felt like it was capturing the original atmosphere. Well, even quite a simple mobile game. Um, I didn't play Temple of Osiris. I, I played... Actually, was Temple of Osiris the first one? Uh, temp that was Guardian Light. Guardian Light, yeah, yeah. So I, I enjoyed Guardian Light. It did I enjoyed the co-op puzzle solving nature of it, but Temple of Osiris, I, I heard it was very buggy. I, I oh, just wait, boy. Fun. We're going to be playing that one. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get it, Chris and Lori and everybody on the same page, but we all have it on PS4. Oh, that would be so good. The only one that's missing is Jen. We need to get her a PS4, goddammit. Yeah, PC Master Race. Gross. <laughs> that's just coming for somebody who plays on PC. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Bad kitty. Do the cats actually go after the guards in this stage as well? Yep. If they actually attack each other. Yep, 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 yep. He's growled at me. <laughs> God, bullet sponge. Yeah, they really are in this game. It's kind of ironic though, because the player tailoring in this game is basically what they're using in Shadow. Yeah, that that little animation where she was trying to push those leaves away, that, oh, my head. Although I will say, I don't know if you can see it on stream, but you can actually see rain droplets coming off the leaves. Yeah, I mean, the, the rain effects in this level were absolutely amazing. Oh, this is the early I was showing you from the screenshot. Do you remember that screenshot I took where Laura's on the balancing beam and the light was coming through the trees? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is that area. Uh, I don't know if you can see Yeah, you can, you can see the light bleed through really well. I just need to find that goddamn pole so I can climb. <laughs> I don't know if you remember either, but the uh, early screenshots of Underworld where she's standing on, like, that... Uh, Statue? That statue is right here. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Where the hell is this stick? Is it not on the stairs? We gonna find out. I need a stick. There it is. Huzzah! Yeah, you, you remember this a lot better than I do. Well, to be fair, I literally just got done playing the game before I remember. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pika. Although any normal person would have just taken the credit, but I'll, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a badass at this game, soon. Yep, right here is where I took the screenshot. Love that lighting. It's so beautiful. It really is. I wish there was more of that. <laughs> Why the hell can't real world be this pretty? <laughs> You're just gonna leave America and you'll... Real world is quite pretty. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Ireland, UK, take me. <laughs> <laughs> I should apply for emergency sanctuary. <laughs> Womp womp. 
Oh, I never realized that before. The little stick things. They have little green emerald uh, emeralds in them. On the end. Oh, yeah. When I see things like this, I always wonder, you know, what was the intention of these poles? Were they actually supposed to be... It makes me wonder, too. Yeah, that was my big issue with uh, Legend of... There you uh, go, Jen. There was, now you know your next uh, project for the Etsy store. You're going to make Tomb Raider poles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always got to think. You've, you've got to think, yes, the environment, yes, it's a video game. And unbelievable. Why would all these poles be here? Laura has a pole thing. <laughs> Careful now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I literally just got what you meant. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A bit slow. A bit uh, slow, though. I did not mean it like that, but okay. <laughs> We're going to start another war. <laughs> See, I did like, actually, these um, puzzles. Using, using the wire to pull the block off there. That was a really, really clever thing. I'm they just shocked there weren't that. more of them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here is in the, in the what you were talking about before with the water running off the ledges. Yeah, yeah, this wall down here into the hole. It's very hard to maneuver too because she just keeps slipping. Mm. Yeah, it was one thing I really didn't like about the, about the, you know, you had to walk off a ledge and hope that she would turn around and grab it. Mingo. No, I didn't like having the control stripped away. So, so much for it. It's funny too when you're hanging onto a ledge and trying to shoot and she has the angry face going on. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. No, it won't let me unless I'm actually on a real ledge. Oh, there's a skull thing. I need it. Chibalba. This is the second skull you picked up, right? Yep. Yay. Now we open it up. And after we open it, that's probably where we're going to stop for the night. I don't want to keep you up too late. Oh, bless you. Bless my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, it's only like... Oh god, I don't even know. What time is it there? Uh, it is... it's only half nine. Okay, so it is six, seven, eight, uh... Four o'clock here. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that I am, uh, very much involved in hiring people at work at the moment and need bright eyed and pale tomorrow, I would up later. They'll be fine. We'll just give them tequila. <laughs> that is part of the interview. They have to be able to handle their liquor. Exactly. If you can't handle your liquor, you can't have the job. Mm. Oh, there is a, there is actually a pub right next to my... Own. So... Uh, <laughs> oh, lucky. They've, they've got to get used to it. Kind of like when you found... The, what was it? The tequila stash? Oh, at the event. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the hidden tequila bar. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Still got it. Chris didn't have any. Chris was Chris was uh, far too grown up about it. Dude. Not me. I would have been knocking <laughs> shots back with you. <laughs> well, yeah, I had a couple. I ended up with a burger all down me. It was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really great event, though. You could tell they really put a lot of care in it. Into that. Uh, I, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'd never seen anything like that before. It was it was my first ever event. You could tell, yeah, they really cared about what people thought. They were really out the red carpet. It was great. Yeah, I would have loved to experience something like that, but yeah, now. Mm. Well, you know, if we ever get to go to one in America, we'll certainly we'll, uh, try and get everyone together. Truth, we'll have to find the tequila bar there. <laughs>
Kaboom! Alright, two skulls. Now we'll make our way back. I hate this fucking time thing, by the way. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh, at least it didn't handle. Oh, at least the bike doesn't have like it. That's true. That's very freaking true. I actually retried playing that game recently, and I just couldn't do it. It was way too arcadey. Yeah, it's just how quick she is at everything. It's just like a monkey flying yeah. around. It. She has Although no weight to her. Yeah. I do love though, actually, and we're getting a perfect example here. How how often, you, how quickly the the game actually reloads. Oh, especially on PC, you don't even get time to read it. Okay, now we're back here. Ow. I hope she's insured. Right? <laughs> Me and vehicles in general with gaming do not mix. I have learned this a long time ago with Driver. And Crazy Taxi. Oh my word, I remember playing that in the arcade. God. Oh yes. Dreamcast, boy. Nah, I was always one for my beat em ups, really. Giving you a good Virtua Fighter 2 arcade game. Yeah, I love beating shit out of people in Tekken. <laughs> Alright, puzzle time. Here we go. I just remember how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What I miss? This whole thing was epic. I'm just split over. Careful how you say epic, Eric Lindstrom might show up. <laughs> like Candyman says. Exactly. <laughs> say epic three times in the mirror and Eric Lindstrom shows up, you know. Oh, what's this? Um, so, you know, Bay in the chat is just Anna, Lay, and Ian coming to Tekken. Is that right? Yes, they just announced that. What? You didn't know that? No, I, I totally checked out. We got rid of half my favorite. And this is why you should be following Lori and Gaming. Ah, see? The best advertisement for the channel that you can get. Yep. Yeah, next I've just got to get them to get Duke uh, and... But yeah, I saw the tri They got... This is so random. They brought Lee back, they brought Anna back, and they put Negan from The Walking Dead in there. I was going to say, yeah, it, it, that is the Negan I'm... Okay. So random. An unusual choice. I mean, I know why they did I... it. Money, money, money. But, you know. And three more yet to be announced, apparently. One of them better be June. Oh, see, they, they've been doing it for so long with Tekken Tag, I I just don't know if they'll ever make a kind of... I mean, I would love for them to bring Kun back in. Which well, one? But, uh, Kunimitsu. Oh, yeah, the lady with the... Basically, yeah, like, Yoshimitsu yeah. female. Yeah, 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 I mean, what they did with uh, with that character in Tekken Tag. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I loved Safina when they brought her in in um, 6. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. But yeah, her style, her style, I just thought was really, really unique. I'm just mad they got rid of my character. I used to win tournaments this June. Oh, this is back in Tekken 2. Uh, Tekken 2, Tekken Tag. Mm. Tag. I actually got second place for a tournament. Oh wow. Nina and June. They laughed when I picked my characters until they <laughs> were on the floor. Uh. Oh, Nina was so low tier. Uh huh. That was always my, my problem because um, Nina has always, always, always been my character, and the fact that they kept buffing her and nerfing her. It's like when um, when Five came out and she was broken as fuck. 
she was. was. It was great. It was absolutely great. That's <laughs> like my buddy Nina, actually yeah. found out the hard way. He got caught up in the kicks when we were playing online with Nina. And I'm like, yeah, you're fucked now. I'm going to keep juggling you. <laughs> yeah, now if, if it, I will get Tekken 7 when they bring Zafina and Julia. That, that's all it's going to take now, if they're bringing back Anna as well. Oh, I'm going to some shit. They actually brought Michelle back. Hmm. See, I like Michelle, but yeah. I just, I, I associate the character more with, uh, with Julia these. Yeah. I used to mod Brandon. her in the Laura. Yeah, show you, um, Brandon's just mentioned show you was his uh, his best character. Yeah, but she was. I mean, back in Tekken Three when they introduced both her and Eddie and such beautiful styles. No, nah, me, I'm stuck using As or uh, Asuka now. Hmm. Yeah, and Asuka is kind of um, June. Well, and she's basically June, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Tekken Two June. There's a few bells and whistles. Pisses me off. It's like, you're going to give us this, but you won't give us the actual June. <laughs> Come yeah, on. Yeah. Although I'm, I'm still pissed off that they put that narcoleptic vampire character in there over any of the ones that are actually good. And lucky Chloe. My god. No. Yeah. I I picked up Tekken 7. And I don't even know how half these characters are anymore. Hmm. Wait, is it supposed to be the second one I'm turning? Yeah. You need to lock them in now, don't you? Oh, oh, oh. oh. I was trying to figure out if it was the second or the middle one I'm supposed to be turning, and apparently it's the second one, not the middle one I'm focusing on. Come on, Lara. It'll be a bile of tequila in it for you. <laughs> there we go. I don't really see puzzles like this anymore in the Tomb Raider games. They all tend to revolve around rough just now. Yep. <clears throat> or running away from Michael Bay explosions. <clears throat> there we go. Now we gotta haul ass. Nope, don't got time for you, kitty. <laughs> I'm good. Run! I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> oh my god, she's not hit a wall yet. Hey! Hi. Where the fuck is my temple? <laughs> I saw both of them. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, we didn't see the cutscene of it opening up, did we? In fact, done. Wow. Okay, now I'm confuzzled. <laughs> must be the other side. You mustn't have done it properly. Had to have. Let's see. Yeah, 13 Obey is just asked if we'll ever see Lara as a character in a game. Uh, imagine her being a or something. I made her in Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> I used to mod Julia Chang into her. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I always think, you know, in how iconic the character is. Yeah, I mean, in fact, Nathan, totally agree with you. Um, well, yeah, right. so I totally agree with you. I do think it would be classic Lara that they would put in any game just because she's more identifiable, you know, when um, you see the classic outfit and stuff, people know who it is. Uh, whereas new Lara, she could be anybody. She could be Katniss Everdeen. She could be a you... girl with ponytail. Yeah. I didn't have it locked into place. I was one yeah. inch off. <laughs> An inch makes all the difference, AJ. Eh, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> you remember where you parked your bike? I hope so. <laughs> oh, now I'm all fucked up. I can't remember where to go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful cutscene. Let me go. <laughs> oh, ass Lara! How all those fiery things have been working after all? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Come on! Where did you leave the bomb? Oh, there we go. I better make it. <laughs> I better make it. You end up in that first spike bit. Eh? Oh, I could have seen that. <laughs> Oof. I got this. I got this. I almost didn't have this. Hey. We. And now she's all confuzzled. Like how she almost died, and she's like, "Hmm, my own hieroglyphs." <laughs> 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 all right, and we're gonna be stopping it there. Okay. Oh, so, well, that was really fun revisiting that. Really, really. It's very different it's going back. Yeah. Alright, so what do you guys in chat think? Do you guys want to see more Underworld eventually? Do you want us to keep going with this? or? I have no problem with it, but, you know, eventually we're going to do a podcast talking about it since the 10th anniversary is coming up. Bye. Aye. But yeah, we're going to be stopping it here, so if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to follow, or as they call it on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, <laughs> don't forget <laughs> to subscribe. Click, click the bell icon and all that, what's it? <laughs> we got it so different, go from Twitch to YouTube to freaking Mixer, and then bleh, too many things. Alright, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, just let us know in the comments, and if you did, we will be back with more Underworld soon. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Cheers, guys.